Now, the load changes shape once again. It's no longer uniform, it grows. It begins at zero, softly, almost imperceptibly, and ends at its maximum value, like a ramp of weight climbing steadily to its peak. It's a triangular load, light at first, but increasingly dense, increasingly demanding. The shear force is no longer a straight line, it's a curve. It starts high and slowly descends with acceleration, drawing an inverted parabola that tilts more with each step. And the bending moment, more elegant than ever, forms a third degree curve. It begins at zero, rises slowly, and then climbs rapidly to a maximum that is no longer at the center, but closer to the heavily loaded end. That's where the beam struggles most, where the weight concentrates and resistance is tested. The triangular load doesn't strike, it advances, pushes, demands. And yet the beam responds, because even when weight increases without warning, a well-designed structure knows how to hold step by step, curve by curve, as if it could foresee what it will have to bear, 